So here we are at the front of the house. A little bit of that railing obviously is not painted. So this is kind of the view from the front door. You can see down there is our downstairs. Um, the kitchen area was upstairs. That's our main living area right there. This is kind of just a look at what the kitchen used to be. Um, it had some hardwood flooring there, some older appliances. Kind of going back into the main area of the house now where all the bedrooms are. Um, everything was just carpeted. Um, the owner before us had a cat, so we wanted to get as much of that carpet up and out of there as soon as we could um, and just kind of replace that with some better hard, harder wood flooring. I'm um, just going in here, a quick pick into, peek into the master bedroom and then into the master bathroom as well. And we're going to go ahead and head downstairs, and this is kind of where the demolition starts. Megan and I would kind of take turns. I would come in for a couple hours and then she would come in for a couple hours and we would just kind of switch watching London at the apartment um prepare, getting the carpet up wasn't too bad this was kind of the padding was kind of hard because it was glued on to the cement underneath it um as we go upstairs we had some other problems but really quick look at this skill a full five gallon bucket of paint into a little handheld thing not a drop spilled i am a professional um, like I said, I was taking turns with Megan, so I tried to get the walls all prepped and ready for her as best I could. Um, this is ripping up all the carpet in the main living area. This one was actually stapled into that wood, so ripping out all those staples was hard. Hey everybody, it is July 6th. Um, we've been working on the house for, it feels like forever, but it's only been like three days or four days. I um, just wanna give you a quick little update kind of about what we've been doing. So we're here in the basement. Megan has painted all the walls, looking great. I took the carpet out of this flooring. And then we're gonna go upstairs. This room has also had the carpet removed. Um, the most of the painting in here, I think Megan wants to do another coat. Um, this is gonna get removed and all this is gonna be wood. And then really not much has changed upstairs yet, but the paint looks so much better than whatever that color is. Yeah, we are excited and it's just, just keep on working. Having to sit there and chisel out all of these tile pieces, you know, piece by piece was kind of a bummer. They were really grouted on there and I had to scrape it all off of the wood as well. But we finally, Megan and I finally got all of the wood put in the house I started to kind of put rooms back together I wanted to get everything pretty much ready to go once our help arrived once uh, Bryson and Joe showed up I wanted everything just to go as smoothly as possible and that included removing this monstrosity from the wall as you can see I tried real real hard gave up decided to get the tile out from around the fireplace instead and that worked great until I realized that I was uh, ripping off the drywall so I just kind of you know, just went for it, whatever, what the heck. Um, got all that done, then I had to go back to uh, doing, ripping this off, and uh, you can kind of see what happens here next. So as I'm finishing up my destruction over here, um, I fully realize that I do not know how to fix drywall stuff. So hopefully Megan's not too mad at me and uh, hopefully YouTube will come in clutch because that's when I'm gonna have to learn this. Oh, this is Why is there a big hole in the wall? <laughs> Why? Are you mm -hmm. asking me? Yeah. I don't know. It's just, it's a, that's a, some sort of ad between the sub basement and here. Oh, there's like a thing that goes on. Yeah, where's okay. painting? Can you hold it? Hold it. I'll hold it. That looks like a good yeah. <laughs> Can you say cheese to daddy? Cheese. cheese. All right, so today is July 11th. Um, quick little update for you. We got most of the house painted. We 
which is great. Um, we just have to do like the trim and then some touch up stuff here and there. But most of the house is painted, which is awesome. Uh, Megan has been doing most of the painting because she's better at it. Um, but yeah, yesterday I tried to put in a nest thermostat and somehow crossed some wires, blew a fuse I didn't know I had. And so for a good majority of the day, uh, we did not have any air conditioning in the house. It was like 90 degrees in there, very humid, smelling of paint. Not a fun time. But luckily, we got it figured out thanks to a very nice uh, plumber, or not plumber, thanks to a very nice uh, HVAC guy who helped me over the phone on a Sunday. So that was very helpful. Um, but yeah, our helpers got here last night about one o'clock and uh, we're gonna go wake them up. Right here. There's the master. So after a great night's rest, everyone got up in the morning ready to rock and roll. Uh, we started prying up um, in the kitchen. Uh, these little tiny boards were all held in by really long um, staples. So that kind of took a little bit to uh, kind of get the hang of and get going. But once we got going, we really started, you know, just ripping up that flooring. Um, kind of where everyone else got doing that, I decided to take the storm door off because um, it's an east-west facing house. So just like the hit Netflix series, it got really hot to handle um, in the morning there. So we, I kind of did, did that, did some other things, and then Joe and bryson got to work laying down the floor and this is kind of what it looks like it looks way better than the carpet um so while they were doing that me and my sisters were painting baseboards getting it ready to get them dried so as soon as the flooring got in we could lay the baseboards down um and joe and bryson were just a really efficient team they did great work um they're really awesome uh, and I'm not, I'm not just saying that because they're my brother-in-law. So what do you do when you're done? You obviously go to um, Joe's Kansas City Barbecue for the best barbecue in the nation. Um, yeah, burn ends there are great, and the beans there are world class. I'm just saying. And everyone had a great time there. Of course, how can you not? It's the best. It's so good. In fact, I want to go there now because I'm so hungry. Uh, finished it off with a quick trip to Sheridan's Custard and then back at it again the next day. Uh, we're cutting uh, baseboards. Uh, my sisters and Joe were really good at kind of finishing all the baseboards up. Jenna especially had some talent there. Um, and we kind of just kept cracking at it. Bryson again, thanks to him for bringing all of his tools. Uh, here's me trying to fix my drywall mistake. Fun fact, I put the drywall in backwards. It's not supposed to be brown. It's supposed to be white facing out. So that was fun, but I wasn't going to redo it, and so we had to just mud it the way it was. Had some time to play games with the family, which we love doing, obviously. Um, don't forget about Lennon. She was having the time of her life with uh, Grandma at the apartment, but she came to visit us in the house. Finally has a yard to run around in. <laughs> Spray the camera. Spray the phone. Ah! <laughs> so mudding the drywall took forever. It was one of the most time-consuming parts of this whole project. Um, so after everything was kind of done, we took everybody to Chicken and Pickle, if you know, you know. And then we also took them down to the Power and Light District for Hot Country Nights. It's a concert that the city puts on. Um, obviously, Jenna had a great time. She loves concerts a little more than everybody else. Um, and we also kind of just took everybody around downtown Kansas City to some of the local little shops here. Uh, we really do love living in Kansas City. Um, it's probably going to be home for us for a pretty long time. And we love when people come visit us. I mean, we love sharing that with uh, our family and we love spending time with family. So even though we did a lot of hard work when everyone was here, it was really good just to have everybody here with us and to spend time with them. So I'm just sitting here in our empty apartment. Everything is gone. Everything's moved to the other new house. 
all we got left to do is just to clean up and um, just kind of want to share my thoughts a little bit about this place even though I know in the previous video and probably in this video I've said that I hate apartment living which I honestly truly do it is the worst I don't like it um, but it will be slightly sad to leave this place just because we've had a lot of firsts in this apartment um, this is where we welcomed Lennon into the world this is where she took her first steps uh, where she started playing outside for the first time outside um, so yeah, definitely a lot of memories in this place, but I'm super excited to, um, I'm just super excited for the next chapter, you know, I'm excited for her to run around. Maybe she'll get a brother or a sister, who knows? I mean, uh, that's kind of the fun of moving and kind of just seeing what is next in, in your chapter of life. So we're closing this chapter, opening a new one. Um, yeah, just gotta clean up and still unpack some stuff, so. Yeah. The other thing I wanted to say was moving was such a whirlwind. So Mike, Megan's dad, came from Vegas to help us move after uh, my mom and my two sisters and my two brother brothers-in-law just left after helping us renovate. He came down for like two days to help us move. We got our whole house moved pretty much in two days. Rented a U-Haul, rented it for like six hours, and we were took two trips and we were done. So we did a lot of stuff. In a short amount of time so that's why i didn't really record anything but i do want to show you guys kind of the end product so hopefully the next next clip will be kind of of us semi moved in and you can see kind of a before and after what we did here we go hey what's up guys it is now april of 2023 a little bit of time has passed um stuff's just been going crazy uh we've been super busy had a baby um yeah just working on the house and so i figured listen i might as well just do the dang thing because if i don't do it now it's never gonna get done so a couple things before we start kind of our where the house is up to date number one megan does not know i'm doing this she just barely had a baby the house might be a little bit messy i tried my best to uh tidy up a little bit but everyone knows uh, husbands can't clean or do anything right so keep that in mind when I'm taking you out throughout the house. Uh, second thing is we have not done everything that we planned to do. Um, just stuff came up, things cost money, go figure. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and just show you guys where we're at, what we still plan on doing, and uh, kind of just go from there. Anyway, hope you enjoy this. Let's get to it. Actually, before we go inside, I just want to talk about my lawn. I have, we have spent, I don't know how much money, actually I do know, I just want to tell you, putting fertilizer, um, new grass seed, poking holes in it, just to make it good, because I want this lawn to be the best. Um, and so if it's not the best by this summer, um, I'm probably going to cry. Anyway, first things first. Do you guys remember this brown half-painted piece of crap railing that we had? Not anymore. Megan painted it all white. It looks so good. Um, yeah, way better than the brown. Obviously, it took that door thing off. Um, and that's looking great. It's so inviting with the greenery. Wow. I have the best wife. She is so artistic. Okay, now we are inside. Obviously, you can see have not done anything with the fireplace yet. Um, we had maybe some plans to do, maybe some shiplap stuff. Um, now I guess shiplap is out. We're just trying to figure out what the heck to do. Um, obviously we replaced this wall, right? And there used to be a, uh, a less cool uh, can light up there. We replaced that with some LED stuff. Um, but the floors look great. Look at them baseboards. They're looking great. Everything looks so nice um, Let's go downstairs first. So we've started to kind of slowly replace the door um, Hinges to be black make it look really nice and sleek and modern. Oh my gosh. Look at that sexy Okay, so anyway, this is the downstairs. It's kind of Lennon's and Reagan's playroom. Um, so that's obviously all her toys. We have a little bit of a little fitness area over there. This is kind of a new addition. This is a sleeper sofa. So when people come to visit, they have somewhere to sleep. Uh, they have their own bathroom in there. Nothing's really changed in here, um, except for we just painted and kind of changed out the lights right here to make it look 
a little bit more modern. Um, nothing's changed really in the laundry room. That's the same thing, nothing's changed down there. Also, as you can see, these are almost done. Haven't changed the door knobs yet, but these have been painted. That has not been painted. You can kind of see the difference there. Um, we have not painted all of the doors yet, but we're working on it. Going back upstairs. Oh, we have not replaced this booby light yet. Um, haven't really found anything that really works right there because if you go up here, you're gonna smack your head on it. So it has to be small, but still, you know, enough to kind of fill that space. So we're still working on that. Kitchen, um, this obviously was replaced. We didn't really talk about that. Um, the floors look awesome. Thank you to Bryson and Joe for all their hard work. We did switch out the drawer pulls um, to these black ones, make it look again a little bit more modern. We got a little drink dispenser right there with the filtered water, fancy, fancy. Um, got a new fridge. That's also fancy. Um, oh, and a new dishwasher. Yes, we are slowly upgrading. Next is either one of those two relics. Um, Got to replace those. That door again has been painted. Hinges have been switched. Door not needs to be switched still. Um, going over here, I made the, this looks kind of messy, but I made all of these shelves. I'm so handy. Your boy is handy AF. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Those lights have obviously been switched out. Switched out those two lights up there, LEDs. Um, got this little bugger installed. I know we, I think I talked about that. If not, um, yeah, that was a, a pain in my booty to install. That's the smart thermostat. Um, Lennon's bathroom looks great. Megan did this wallpaper, looks awesome. We got rid of this, the giant mirror, put a little circle mirror because that looks better and updated this light fixture. Looks really good. Um, and then Lennon has been wanting to wash her hands all the time. So we got her stool and put a child uh, lock on the bathroom. She'd be in here washing her hands for hours. Um, Lennon's room, this is coming together awesome. She is acting like a teenager and kind of just putting her stamp of approval on everything already, changing up the look of her room. But it looks good. She has a big girl bed now. Things are changing. People are growing up. What the heck? Um, this is Reagan's room, the new baby. Um, this used to be kind of just an empty room because we knew we were going to have another one. So this is where she does not sleep yet because she's too little. But hopefully here in a few months she will be in this room and we got it all ready for her. So these two rooms are the only ones that we kept carpet, everything else, like the master and not all in the kitchen and stuff. We obviously switched out to the, the hard floor. Um, that's where Reagan sleeps now. Um, nothing is super changed in here, except for I want to show you the bathroom because I'm super proud of it. It looks awesome. Um, we got rid of the big giant mirror, put two uh, smaller mirrors on there, updated this light fixture, got a fancy little vase, um, and it just looks great. Obviously, this, uh, different pulls, but kind of the same black and white theme that have been going on. Um, I think Megan did a really, really good job in this bathroom. I like it so much more than what we had. Um, yeah. Okay, so that pretty much brings you guys up to speed about where we're at, where the house is at. Um, yeah, I just want to give a really just a shout out to my brothers-in-law, uh, Bryson and Joe, that you guys worked really, really hard um, and it shows in this house. And I honestly couldn't have done it without you guys. Couldn't have afforded it without you guys. Um, I just really appreciate appreciate you guys taking some time out of your uh, schedule and your lives to come help us out in the middle of the country. Um, and then also to my sisters um, who came with them um, and my mom, uh, thank you guys as well. You guys helped with whether it was just watching Lennon so me and Megan could do stuff or it was you know just actually helping laying the floor or doing whatever you guys were so so helpful could not have done it without you guys' help um, and then thanks to Mike for helping us actually move in you know carry all the heavy stuff up 
up these stairs and um, out of the apartment. Um, it's been hard without family here, but you guys make it easier um, when you come out and help you help. So again, thank you, thank you so much. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna wrap the obviously this video up here because. I'm also kind of working on a, another little side project. Hopefully that happens. Um, probably talk about that a little bit more in a later time. Yeah, thanks again for watching. Uh, have a good day. Peace and love. Is that what the kids do now? This is not going to